yes good evening everyone good evening so before we start the class we will just make a technical check okay so am i audible and is the blackboard is visible okay just check on that am i audible and is the blackboard is visible hello kill okay yes so if you have any issue just check with your internet facility and mobile network right all those things so i am ending the poll good evening so everyone can hear me except one or two not me guys i i just uh, talking about the black pool okay so last class what we studied in last class in last class what we studied can anybody answer what what we studied good evening good evening all okay Ah, huh, I'll start recording. One sec. Thank you. What is the rules? What is the rule? I didn't understand. Classification based on nitrogen assist symmetry. Yes, symmetry. Ah, uh, last last one class. Segmentation. Ha, huh, that one. Ah, uh, nobody is following, bro. Actually, nobody know the actual meaning of that. Okay. so i forgot yeah that's it i i didn't thought about it okay otherwise uh, i could have left it like that only yes segmentation silom symmetry yes and nitrogen waste right so these are the things we studied uh, symmetry we studied last to last class only and another one thing silom correct right so these are the four major things actually we studied right so what is about segmentation we studied about what is the meaning of segmentation and what is true segmentation right so segmentation means what yes little bit about not accord little bit about not accord not that much right introduction only yes correct so segmentation means what and what is the metameric segmentation metameric means a true kind of segmentation segmentation both externally and internally and next one is the pseudo pseudo segmentation right a false kind of a segmentation then in a silom also three types we saw one is a oscillomate another is a pseudo oscillomate and another was the a true oscillomate or you can call it as u silom or silomate in that we again studied size oscillom and enter oscillom so depending upon how development happen within the embryo and nitrogenous waste we studied about ammoniotelic animals and ureotelic animals uricotelic animals hi ha okay one sec and and so guys yes i made a coast yep and not uh, sorry uh, uricotelic and last one is the amino amino clic right amino acid we normally write shorts like this okay this means amino acid okay okay no no issue bro no issue okay this means amino acid do you guys know what is the meaning of double s i told you right we normally use it with regarding to the different dna rna molecules do you guys remember meaning of ss small ss yes anyone correct right it means single stranded and uh, there is another one also there that is ds ds means what ds means double stranded right that means double lines are there single lines are there right so in the same manner we will also write amino acid like a okay so we simply like it uh, we simply write it like this and never actually wrote like all this explained version okay so remember these things and oh i write suilum two times no issue and not about the introduction okay so these things are important especially the metameric segmentation and the serums so they regularly ask question okay there are another one type of the nitrogen waste is there actually i didn't mention that one because that's not important but it's kind of interesting okay everyone know the spider right everyone know the spider everyone saw spider and probably some of you already 
bitten by the spider that's also but uh, you didn't turn into spider man uh, that's bad luck you are you are bad luck okay not uh, mine yeah so these spiders are a different type of nitrogen beast okay ha yeah yeah correct correct action yep so spider uh, have a different kind of nitrogen beast so that is called as gonotelic can you tell me what it will excrete what it will excrete can you guys guess what it may excrete the spider is called as a gonotelic animal okay yeah it may happen i don't know spider man no ah uh, not glutamic acid any 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 other guess actually why i didn't told is like gonotelic is also kind of aminotelic gon no 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 its name is called as gonotelic only i am just expecting question answers from the youtube also guys any any answers no no not no that means guanine have you have you ever heard this is actually a chemical or in a simple words if i can say yes in a simple word i can say this is type of amino acid okay type of amino acid only okay in uh, biomolecule chapter you will learn about little bit about these things okay dna it is present uh, no sir i didn't understand manvita so i didn't understand the question okay yeah so gonotelic means it excrete gonin a gonin is kind of a uh, amino acid okay kind of amino acid so you can uh, cap this one is also in a broad term like aminotelic okay but uh, this not secrete all the other amino acids these are only secretes gonins okay Be mainly because of their diets and everything okay uh, the western fastland word sixty words it is promised to make plants grow has was that's correct but that's not to gone in present in the ha ha correct manita correct correct yeah 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 so yeah. uh gone in it is not present in dna okay this is good this one ha ha okay so dna contain only four materials okay so adenine guanine that guanine is a different kind of a guanine and this guanine is a kind of different guanine okay so you guys will learn about this in later classes okay so you guys will learn about later classes uh, no issue in biomolecule we will learn about it just think it's a kind of amino acid one okay scorpions are ha huh, there are very few of them you can excrete the guanine okay not all of them so that is what we discussed in last class so one recall test come uh, the question is easy okay so which type of coelom is found in rock okay which type of coelom is found in the frog enterocoelom cytocoelom pseudocoelom hemocoel sorry enterocoel cytocoel pseudocoel hemocoel okay so coelom and coel uh, we'll use it uh, interchangeably okay don't think it's completely different thing that same only okay i'm launching the pool now so it's one of the easy question i think if you remember or if you write little bit or if you remember the order also you can answer okay if you remember the order of you study it then also you can remember okay some people want to keep frog in uh, somewhere forever or somewhere okay guys it's frog not any sponge or not any anything okay <laughs> yeah so <laughs> try try to answer try to answer okay first thing what you have to think here okay what you have to think okay 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 no i i i never seen yeah i know whose movie it is by tiger and sasuas yes mm. yes guys you guys have still 15 seconds okay Ah, uh, first uh, when you think about this question, you first have to think about the that particular frog. Okay, then think about their character, where you can put that, or which phylum you can put this one. Okay, then answer. Okay, Ashwin, answer no issue. It may be right or wrong. That secondary, right? I will tell you, Chandana. Okay, I am ending the poll now, and I am sharing the results. Still, some of you answering. Sorry. 
47 percent chosen option a 26 percent chosen option b 17 percent c and 9 percent d and ashwin answered enter o seal and maulik also answered the same okay so what are these things we'll uh think about this first okay what is pseudo seal pseudo -silum, you already know right what is the meaning of pseudo -silum? pouched pattern right Silom present in a pouched pattern. So that's called pseudo silom. And what is hemo seal? Then silom filled with silom filled with blood. Okay. Silom filled with blood. You can find this kind of silom in arthropoda. Okay. Arthropoda. So sometimes the questions are give different kind of a result. So Probably yesterday or the day before yesterday, we uh, saw a question there. What they asked if you take a needle and you prick the outer body of the uh, earthworm without damaging the gut, then what will come out? Okay, the answer will be a silomic fluid. Okay, if you take an arthropoda, okay, somebody answered a question, probably asked that question, right? So, if you take an arthropoda members, if you do that, then what will come out? Then Hemocyl, a blood will come out. Okay, that blood may be in some colors or do not have any colors. Okay, normally arthropods do not have any color. Okay, so it it looks pale white color like pus. It may see, but it's still blood only. Okay, it do not have any color because it do not have the hemoglobin. That's it. Okay, what is cytosylum and enterocylum? Can uh, anybody tell me what is the cyto and what is the enterocylum? Cytosylum means how it develop. Is it developed from this separate part or is it developed directly? And yes, cytosylum directly or it's developed from the uh, this one middle part. Cytosylum separate. Okay. Yes. What about enterocylum? It is developed from where? Yes, all are embryonic stage only. Enterocyl develop from separately or develop from the the endodermal pouch. Endodermal pouch. Where from where it will develop? Endodermal pouch or separate? Ah, center of the pouch, right? Pouch or something. So the correct answer is enterocele. Starting it will be like this, and our mesoderm will somewhat like this. Okay, our mesoderm will be somewhat like this. Later this will differentiate and it will form the coelom, right? It will form the coelom like this. So the correct answer is option A, enterocyl. Okay. Second, huh, second question came. So many people answered correctly. Who didn't answer correctly? Check with the books. Uh, sorry, notes one more time. Okay. Second question came. The middle layer in the body wall of porifera is the middle layer in body wall of porifera is. Okay. It's asked in AIMS 1999. A mesoderm, mesenchyme, mesoglia, mesentery. Okay. So it's a little confusing, but it's one of easy question, right? <laughs> yeah, really, really. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. I know th this will happen, but uh, I, I never thought about it. Okay, guys, I told you, right? Whenever they ask about any phylum, first you have to imagine about the phylum. Okay, if they ask porifera, imagine the porifera. That means sponges. Okay, if they ask about uh insect or if they ask about any insect butterfly or anything try to think about their phylum okay then think about how the coelom may be okay and how the body walls may be okay if coelom is present or absent you can simply uh, tell right because all the higher organisms will have coelom lower organisms do not right if you know that it have the coelom then you can find some other answer right so think think samanth one more time think yes I'm just waiting from the YouTube also. I only got two answer. I don't know is it right or not. I'm waiting for other seven to answer. Yes. No function. No function. I'm I'm ending the poll. Okay. Mm, I'm sharing the results. 27% choose an option A, 6% choose an option B, 65% choose an option E, 2% choose an option D. Okay. I'm stop sharing the uh, this one. Okay, result. Tell me, porifera is diploblastic or triploblastic? Uh, the, the, this is like easy question. Okay, it's a direct question. Okay, 
so i'm just waiting from anyone everyone okay i'm waiting from everyone yes correct right it's a diploblastic it's a diploblastic if it is diploblastic then how many layers will be right there will be outer ectoderm and there will be a inner endoderm only two layers are there then what about in between in between what it contain in between it contains the mesoglia okay mesoglia they may ask simply like you okay they will simply ask like um, how many layers it may contain or uh, what kind of germinal layers it will have okay then everybody can answer it's a meso uh, diploblastic okay but they little bit change the question they ask like what about a middle layer in body of periphera okay what is the middle layer they didn't mention it is a wall layer or not they simply asked like what is the middle layer of the body wall of periphera then you struck you thought that mesoderm because you thought body wall that wall layer is there middle layer word is there but you didn't concentrate about the periphera that is actually high important okay you concentrate about these least important things but you left the most important point okay so differentiate the things okay periphera you have to <laughs> yeah yeah uh, periphery you have to concentrate upon then you have to think about all these things okay so the correct answer is mesoglia it do not have any functions it's a developmenting stage okay it's a developmental stage this do not have any function okay so developmental stages do not have any functions but later on those will give rise to some things okay or they will give space or they will do something okay so development is actually their function Yes, mesoderm is uh, present in uh, periphery. Yes, but it's embryonic stage. Yes, it's embryonic stage. Yes, so, nobody like uh, mentioned that one, right? Nobody mentioned that also. Ha, mesoderm. We can directly go for that one. Okay, so mes, so mesoderm. You already know about the thing. What is this? Mesoderm means middle layer. this is also this is also cells of embryo and mesentery uh, i have to think okay mesentery i have to think i will i will get back to you okay ah uh, no chirant no chirant we will, we will do not do that but it's the character okay how many germinal layers does db have means what i didn't understand db means what class by you are asking me chirant yeah we will see that okay classification we will see in the later class how, how we differentiated based on this one a uh, nitrogenous waste but it is not a proper method because there you have to mix about several things okay diploblastic means two right it name only says two blast diplo means two blast means the layer in the blastula stage okay who is the embryo stage cells of the embryo embryo means organisms embryo okay a loose is is kind of a parenchyma kind of the cells in the embryo okay so not not particular is a animal embryo okay not any particular so these are mesenchyma are kind of parenchyma kind of the loosely packed cells we normally use the term parenchyma in plants but a few times in animals also okay a very few times in animals also those time we can use this term sir in the embryonal layer it will only have two layers yes correct one it only have two layers of cells absolutely correct okay shall we move on so we can move on to the next one uh, any any anyone else do you have any doubt in youtube please ask now okay yes so notochord means what notochord means a solid flexible rod like structure support the body okay support the body so we yes we have to think sometime it will remain up to the end of life okay but sometime it will only present in embryo stage okay so whole life or whole life or embryo stage where it will present in the whole life it remain in their body for the whole life in very few of the organism or starting phase of the organisms okay 
that means in the non vertebrates right uh, urochordates you we will learn about this okay cephalochordates okay all those things in those kind of organisms but in others it will only present in embryo stage but later on it will be replaced by the vertebral column okay it will be replaced by vertebral column then what it is made up of it is made up of cartilaginous like things or type things okay i'm not saying these are cartilaginous okay cartilaginous are a hard but a tissue made of systems okay where you can find in your nose or in your ears okay yes yeah we will we will come to this upon yes correct but we will come to that sec in this next slide okay so uh, these if you touch here your uh, nose it's little flexible in this meantime it's also hard okay now i'm not talking about here i'm not uh, talking about like a middle okay so it's made up of a hyaline cartilage a type of cartilage called as hyaline cartilage okay it's called hyaline because it's almost like a transparent okay so that's why same kind of a cartilaginous kind of things is made up of okay not actually from the cartilage okay so this called notochord you can see the developmental stage okay some fish spine sihas was okay so we can find it several things are there uh, when come to there we will learn about cartilaginous fish and all the things correct so here you can see the development how it's happening all the small dots are cells and we made a and different kinds of the fluorescent dyes okay dye means color fluorescent means for fluorescence means when you uh, put the light it will shine some other kind of the light okay so we use different kinds of colors or dyes or fluorescent dyes for the microscopy that's what we called as the fluorescent microscope okay so this one of kind of pictures uh rithik uh, not exactly not exactly we will see that okay no gills never develop into lungs the, those thing, two things will be different okay so here you can see how these things are developing how this notochord is developing when you check here when you check in the chordates this is actually a picture of the lower level of chordate here you can see this thing notochord is present here and dorsal to that dorsal means about that okay during this side having a dorsal hollow notochord hollow means empty okay sorry dorsal means sorry hollow means empty so in this one notochord which is present or situated below this dorsal hollow notochord and ventral to the gut okay so gut you can find here so it is situated in between okay it is situated in between in the starting stages of the life in the starting stages of the life okay ah uh, it's called as lancet okay we will you will see that in the later later class okay lancet lancet okay it's kind of organism uh, kind of a chordate okay ah uh, actually ah uh, In here nothing is present monisha so here ah uh, here uh, this side even yeah 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 so left it no issue it do not contain anything do not contain any important thing okay leave it like that no issue only because i can't off the video okay so uh, there's a regulation or rule so uh, what is dorsal hollow nerve cord dorsal means this nerve cord nerve cord means nerve fiber yes hollow means empty it is like this it's like a pipe this particular nerve cord is like a pipe and it is situated to where it is situated dorsal to the this particular our spinal sorry is uh, what not occurred okay that's why we call this as the dorsal hollow nerve cord you can simply call it as nerve cord also no issue okay what is the use of the nerve cord we mentioned here only right the use of nerve cord is support the body support the body okay dorsi ventral dorsi ventral means about to below okay about to below from back to the front okay dorsal mean once what guys dorsal means what what's the meaning of dorsal can you guys tell me what's the meaning of dorsal upper is front uh upper upper correct right so yes dorsal portion yes and ventral portion right which side of your body uh, if you uh, kept up 
a fish or something like this then above portion will be there right above portion we call it as a dorsal kind of thing and below portion is there right we call that is as the ventral thing okay so this nerve cord is present about that particular not a cord that's why we call it as the dorsal okay so that's it above layers correct correct right absolutely correct what are present above that means here if you go back here uh, it's in a like this kind of state okay so we are erect but don't think like that okay don't imagine us imagine some animals and uh, remember the things okay because all the other animals are uh, triped sorry all the other animals are tetraped that means uh, having four legs so imagine like us uh, ours also like that only so we can imagine the dorsal and ventral easily okay uh no no called called means here uh, uh, <laughs> not exactly okay so here called means they are referring to the noto called okay here they are mentioning naro called that means they are mentioning about the naru layers okay naru layers okay so this is the naru called naru uh, pipe kind of structure it's a noto called a uh, completely filled kind of structure in your body which is dorsal side you, you just imagine i told you that one only right so don't imagine like uh, ourselves like this imagine ourselves like animals so then you can answer sir how much is the area of our whole body approximately if stretched and shredded to us i know you watch the video okay <laughs> yeah i know you watch the video so you know the answer that's why yeah okay so <laughs> Uh, yeah understood right so dorsal and ventral side so notochord contain like this the things or the animals who have the notochord or called as all called as have chordates okay having notochord yes non chordates means do not have any notochord do not have notochord in any form of their life okay if you ask me for the example from the porifera porifera to the echinoderms right none of them have the chordates okay so none of them have this as for the chordates example we can go from cephalochordata you will learn about this cephalochordates to the mammals okay to the mammals all of them are chordates okay yeah it is there suhas it's there you you left it if you didn't saw okay so that's hard me to calculate okay for the our complete this one what you can say mm, square centimeter of our body i have to take a general example then i have to calculate how much will be the our body different parts that's not easy one to like write it down right so you have to imagine how a struggle my struggle okay yes ha correct ashwin right so this means chordates and non chordates second one these chordates are divided into another two types okay chordates division chordates divided to divided to into two different kinds of things based on presence or absence of the spinal cord okay yeah i will tell you that one only chana no issue okay um so how it is different then okay so difference is notochord you already know what happens a cord or a cartilaginous things will be there but later what happens in some of the organism that particular notochord will be replaced by a bony bony hollow you can say okay bony skeleton system bony skeleton system so replaced okay replaced by that one so this bony skeleton system we call it as the spinal cord or backbone okay so remember everything is chordates only uh, from the cephalochordates to the mammals in those things so some of them have the spinal cord some of them don't have the spinal cord okay so what is the meaning of spinal cord then spinal cord means a notochord in the embryo stage will be replaced by a bony skeleton kind of structure that's what we call it as the spinal cord okay spinal means back okay the cord which is present in the back of the reason and we also call it as backbone okay backbone you know the meaning of backbone right so the organisms which have this thing which have the backbone 
or called as vertebrates why we call it as vertebrate uh, means vertebra means this particular spinal cord okay vertebra means spinal cord so we call it as vertebrate okay have spinal cord have spinal cord and those do not have any spinal cord do not have spinal cord so they are called as c one sec guys do we have notochord at some stage yes yes both are same yep so when you do not have the spinal cord these are called invertebrates examples uh, for the uh, this one in uh, this one what we can say uh invertebrate animals as sponges invertebrates all those thing molluscs arthropods all those things okay having uh uh depends such okay so the vertebrates are fishes birds reptiles mammals amphibians okay this is the spinal cord of the human uh, don't think take tension about this part this is not the part of the spinal cord this is the separate part right we will learn about it later but this is the part of the spinal cord okay so two questions arise one uh yeah vertebral column and spinal cord both are same okay so what is the reason okay yeah snakes have the backbone yes snakes have backbone yeah probably some of you already saw so what is the reason for replacing a notochord with a spinal cord so remember the notochord is a cartilaginous thing and it can bear only a small amount of force it's not strong and rigid as like bone okay it's not strong and rigid like bone if it is strong and rigid like bone our body will choose cartilage only on the bones okay so it's not that much strong okay that's why our body chosen a permanent structure okay so a permanent structure that is the uh, our bony spinal cord okay that's the first question and the answer for that one okay second question uh, in invertebrates all the time notochord is present invertebrates where we are talking that matters okay if you just take about non chordates it do not have the vertebrae you know that i know you are that's not your question i told you about some of the chordates but those are invertebrates right you know some of them the uh, notochord will be present up to the end of the lifetime in some of them it's only present in the tail region and in some of them it's only present in the head region okay and in some of them it's only present present in the part of the life cycle okay it's a little bit difficult because it's just a evolution in the starting stage so alternation will be different in different kind of the organism we learn that we learn all the things in the later chapters probably it's in the book in who are completed the textbook like in cbsc you guys know about that right cephalochordata urochordata hemichordata why we call it as a cephalochordata cephalo means head that means notochord is present in the head region why we call it as a urochordata uro means tail region okay so the notochord is present in the tail region right so even though in non chordates the notochord not present throughout the life it depends but in chordates and vertebrates the spinal cord will remain throughout the life okay remember throughout the life the spinal cord will be remain okay there will be no changes so the developmental will be happening okay developmental will be happening and it's continuous up to a certain age later it will be stopped okay once the development of those vertebral columns stops then most of your uh, height is also restricted a little bit okay so later on is like uh, you are you are living with that particular only that particular only okay all vertebrates are chordates but all chordates are not vertebrates absolutely correct shushmita great right so all vertebrates are chordates correct because vertebra means it should be developed from the notochords but all chordates are not vertebrates because it may also contain the invertebrates like cephalo uh, sorry uh, starting hemi and cephalos okay uh, so that's about the spinal cord any anything any more question about the notochord or the vertebral column or spinal cord guys if you have any question ask so we can solve this and we can move on otherwise click on yes vertebrates yes 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 sorry sorry okay correct so we told you right so this notochord remember i am writing it here okay 
this notochord will be present in the embryo only okay in the embryo later stages only it will be replaced by the bony skeleton okay in that during development i will i will write down that will be better okay during development only this will turned into a bony skeleton uh so in embryo stage notochord will be present okay so that's what was in the last picture right so actually the scored picture only fish uh, a picture probably okay a fish zygote uh, sorry fish embryo developmental photo that is okay uh examples to non chordates so we have here right i told you right all these are non chordates also okay some peripheral to the echinodermates all of them okay in textbook for several chordates not chord is present head to tail throughout the life yes correct manisha yes but urochordates it will be remain suspended to a part of its body only yes so it start it on the head that's why you call it as head cephalo okay yes guys any any more any more probably you heard those things several times like even in the uh, why we call it as biceps and triceps because biceps have the two heads so those muscles have the two heads that's why we call it as biceps why is we call it as a triceps because those muscles have the three heads okay muscle head not our head okay don't think that head will be present in our biceps triceps that's the muscle heads so we call it as a triceps okay so common word in invertebrates also they are present only in embryo no ananya in invertebrate where you are talking that matters if it is a invertebrate but if it is a chordate then it will be present but if it's a invertebrate and non chordate in it never present right so spinal cord and backbone are separate but you represented it as three suhas uh remember bro like when you are using the term okay we normally use the term spinal cord or the backbone both are same okay but when you go in depth in the human physiology we learn that spinal cord also contain the the nerve fibers and everything which is present inside of that okay so for here no issue it's a literal term you can use it equally okay there is no use in that it is not wrong okay yes uh what muscle have three heads triceps triceps muscle in your hand in our hand you saw probably biceps and triceps biceps will be in the upper portion triceps will be in the little side portion that is triceps so it is in vertebrata main on chordata vertebrata no that's not possible bro uh, i will i will take one more thing sorry uh one sec mm we are have to take this one yes screen okay i'll take a screen ah remember animals are here okay animals can be differentiated actually i didn't mention here because these things will come later no issue we will uh, write this down so it's divided into non chordates and chordates okay so it's a division this chordates again divided into two things one is the non vertebrates or invertebrates both are same no issue and vertebrates okay so non chordate you can give the example from the periphera to the periphera to the echinoderms echinoderms so in non vertebrata you can give example like cephalo chordata uro chordata all those things okay in here you can give examples like uh, amphibians reptiles apes and mammals right uh yes uh pieces tetrapod you can write like that also no issue in that okay so as uh yeah i'm coming back to that sir any code it also belongs to ha huh, correct 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 so as yes so yes this i told you right this 
spinal cord we know it's a part of the nerve fibers its continuation backbone is the the co outer covering but we will use it equally bro just i'm not going full that kind of depth because that we will learn it in the later part okay but if you use the term spinal cord or the backbone here this is not wrong okay what i write down it is not wrong okay it's given in the book only okay so when you go and learn about those things then you will come to know about the differentiation and how it formed everything okay so i can't go in depth everything because if i go there everything will uh, become very fast and we can't move on okay that's why i am going only to the a selected portion of the syllabus then we will go little bit little later right first we have to learn plants will be green and it will photosynthesize then we will come to know that because of the chloroplast then we come to know that because of the chlorophyll then we come to know that what is present in the chlorophyll to make it uh, make a that kind of food so that's the process okay uh, don't offend okay so how muscles can have power so muscles fibers will be like this okay so this is the muscle thing like it if it have like this okay if it's like this then we call this one as the head okay then we call this one as a head don't think that head like our head okay this is different uh, non cordates bro here only bro look here chirant non cordates porifera to the echinoderms i wrote down here only right so this is the example for the non cordates i wrote it down that's why uh, yes is it all right any more doubts any more doubts hello anyone or click on yes if you if you think we can move on yes yeah okay okay we can move on yep ha ah, we have to head on right yes correct so already almost time is over so next one cf kings okay so cf you will see vertebral column is derived from vertebral column is derived from dorsal nerve cord ventral nerve cord outgrowth of the cranium and not a cord okay for now just think cranium is like head portion okay outgrowth of the cranium means head head portion okay probably some of you already know about the cranium first think like that only okay so from where vertebral column will be developed the question is okay i am relaunching the poll okay so you can answer in the poll and who are in the youtube can answer in the youtube live chat okay ha darshan you raised your hand you have any doubt darshan hello shishmita think one more time yes we have still 30 seconds to go yes 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 correct so many people are giving correct answers no pawan no it do not have it do not have we will see that one more time when we come to the that particular chart, uh, part we will go for some other characters also uh, the cordates will have some characters non cordates will have some character we will come to uh, do that one more time okay it's a like repetition process notochord is a initial process nishit notochord is like a cartilaginous process the initial stage we told you, cartilaginous kind of thing vertebrate is like bony thing okay uh 15% chosen option a 13% chosen option b 8% option uh, chosen option c and 64% uh, percent chosen option d no issues to us okay like uh, we uh, we i will like close the poll depending upon the students uh, response some may take little bit of time we will we will check that okay no issue is just a chill and listen okay i'm uh, i'm stop sharing the results 
so you know about the things right it's not about the now call now call never gives the vertebral column okay so that's the different and this one is different and outgrowth of cranium that means the head will be there from the head it will start to grow the salsa not the case the correct answer is the notochord we told you right notochord will be a cartilaginous kind of thing cartilaginous like thing right this will be in the embryo stage later it will turn into vertebral column or bony vertebral column okay bony vertebral column correct yes for cranium means uh, skull only yes so i just uh, restricted it because some of you don't know right that's why i just uh, mention it like that cranium means a part of the uh, this one, part of the skull part of the skull yes so the correct answer is not occurred it's one of the easy question guys like uh, we now only discussed right it's not much hard i think so i uh, ah uh, you have to think so as that that won't happen in the neat right so we have to be like that only i will try but not every time sometime it will be scrolled down so it will like the uh, neat only so you have to think for yourself is correct or not so we are going for some of the important terms guys remember these things are really important really important okay uh, these are not directly asked in exams sometimes but these are mainly important for you to understand about the things okay mainly important for you to understand these things first one is the sexuality ha darshan you raise your hands again do you have any doubt if you have any doubt just put that in the chat box so we can answer okay yes darshan yes so we will go on so first one is a monoecious hermaphrodite and bisexual when we come to the zoology we will consider everything as same okay in zoology we will consider everything as or consider it as like a same only okay you can call it as like monoecious or you can call it as hermaphrodite or you can call it as bisexual is literally means everything uh, sorry gives the same meaning okay what's the meaning of bisexual does it means within a single organism or within a two organism two sex organ within a single organism or two organism right both sex organs in single organism right single organism can you guys give me any example example you can see here this also one of the example liver fluke okay liver fluke or you can go for any earthworm yes earthworm and some an anelida uh, those anelida members are normally uh, they uh, show this kind of things right yeah correct or else what right they have both sex organ within a single organism both means both means male and female if you ask what is both okay so it have both male and female that means it have the ability to produce sperm and also the egg okay so it may go for the self fertilization or cross fertilization that's different but this is like this okay spongilla hermaphrodite ha correct right and half uh, members of porifera right all those things are monoecious only what is dioecious dioecious means individual organism have yes correct so many so many organisms are there individual organism have any one sex organ right any one sex organ either it will be a male or it will be a female not both okay either it will be a male or it will be a female not both example you can go for the most of the chordates okay so tiger and you can go for what man or human okay i can use the term human ah i can use the term chordates right because most of the chordates are like that only yes so you can go for you can go for insects okay most of them having the dioecious or unisexual nature okay remember dioecious means what they have uh, two organism for those uh, what male and female unisexual means what a single organism having single Uh, organ okay both refers to the same but in a different point of view okay 
yeah you can give so many of the examples this depends upon that particular species so remember about these two things okay second one is a sexual dimorphism uh yeah we can uh, by taking some of the medicines okay liver fluke but if it's in a higher range then it would be dangerous okay yes what is sexual dimorphism what is sexual dimorphism so can anybody answer sexual dimorphism what is the meaning of this one yes ha darshan you again raised your hand do you have any doubt male and female distinct in morphology correct why are you guys in taking so many time okay ha huh. remember guys whatever i asked the question just answer what do you know okay don't answer what google knows okay because google know every sorry so many things okay not everything so many things right so don't depend it upon the google answer what do you know only then i can also understand what you guys are thinking right otherwise i will think that what google is thinking okay that's not good yes distinctive yes distinctive male and female is called sexual dimorphism distinctive male and female okay that means male organism and female organism will be different di means two okay di means two and morphism means external character external character okay sexually means depending upon the sex sex means gender okay no not both sex okay so you can think about peacock and peahen right peacock or male will be much uh, beautiful and larger having all the feathers and everything okay female will be having less colors and less feathers okay so why males have all those things to attract the female okay this one is the female so peacock and peahen are the example or you can also think about the yes male and female right male and female both of them have different morphologically because they have a different uh, this one broad kind of uh, this one chest and also think about uh, more of hairs body hairs right all those things represent a male and those are little bit different in their female okay remember we never if one organism is look alike but the genital organelles only different then you can't call it as sexual dimorphism okay you can't call it as when you can call you have you can call it as sexual dimorphism species when their whole body is comparatively different from the another gender okay so you can differentiate the this one uh, a kind of animals or kind of birds okay not all organisms if you take example of the dog you can't differentiate male and female other than checking the genital organs right so they are not sexual dimorphism right it's not a example of the sexual dimorphism if you take a example of uh, which organism mm, we can go some something else uh, like elephant okay if you go for a elephant you can differentiate based on the tusk right male will have the tusk female do not have the tusk right based on that you can differentiate yes some birds also yes some birds male birds will have larger tail larger tail means we call this feather things right we call it as like tails okay like that yes uh ha i told you right i told you uh, you can't differentiate based on the mammary glands and genital organs the other things should be changed okay other things should be changed okay uh suhas that only happens in the african elephant not in the indian elephant okay in african elephant only both male and female will have the tusk in indian elephant only male will have the tusk okay female do not have the tusk yes ha huh, in hen you can differentiate between the ha huh, hen and uh, this one right cock right so there also you can differentiate so like that sexual dimorphism means in complete body not only based on the breast or the genital organs okay understood complete body not on the genital organs or the breast or the reproductive organs okay correct elswat right the lions you can differentiate the lions right so easily you can differentiate but you can't differentiate the tiger right the tiger looks alike both male and female so that's the thing uh okay 
so that's the thing so second one is thing that's the body temperature okay body temperature ha huh? snake also is like hard to differentiate okay yeah yeah body temperature yeah the body temperature how it will show ha huh? human show the dimorphism a yeah, sexual dimorphism so one is the pycloderms or ectothermic or cold blooded animals okay pycloderms ectothermic or cold blooded animals how we can say about this okay so what are these things means can you can anybody tell me yes exactly right cold blooded means what what's the meaning of cold blooded animals means what can anybody answer meaning of cold blood nice yeah that happens to us i actually told him not to disturb no no not about the heart chambers yes a uh, body temperature body temperature pmp means temperature will depend on depend on what these are depending on external environment okay external environment okay so what happens if the uh, outside body temperature will be out okay so ha huh, darshan you have any doubt if you don't have any doubt uh, please don't raise the hand because it's again again coming and disturbing okay so yes what's happening when the outside environmental temperature increases then their body temperature also increases when the outside temperature will be decreases then their body temperature also decreases okay yes correct they are dependent upon the environment for maintaining their body temperature okay so we can go for the example of fishes okay we can go for the example of the fishes amphibians reptiles yes all of them are examples correct all of them are examples so ha ah, no not like that no 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 not like that okay so fishes i will tell you fishes uh amphibians reptiles why i am not mentioning about all the other things because some of them do not have the blood some of only they have blood all those things okay what about polar bear we come to that mohan wait okay so that means they never their blood never a uh, clots we never mentioned about the blood remember we never mentioning we are not at all mentioning the blood here don't don't deviate okay so we are only yeah okay they are cold blooded means they are having they can uh, they can't regulate their own body temperature they are dependent upon the external environment how it's happening then these our uh, their blood vessels will comes out like this comes out means not outside of that okay not outside of that one second guys i will rub this one down their uh, blood vessels will be coming out near to the surface and they are helping in the exchange of the temperature okay exchange of temperature from there that word came okay exchange of the temperature from there it actually word came it do not have anything to with clotting okay it do not have anything to do with the clotting clotting will be completely different phenomena okay so poikilotherm or ectotherm or cold blooded all that only means the body temperature will depend on the external environment it can't maintain its body temperature okay why it happening like that so it's about the cost of living guys cost of living so think about it uh, everyone know about this one right ac right everyone know about the air air cooler or oh, sorry air conditioner right so what uh, what happens there it will regulate the body temperature sorry temperature of that particular room right so everybody use that does everybody use that everyone of us use that no right why we why we won't use that because it will regulate it we can use that why we are not using what is the reason for not using that one why i don't have in my home or why uh, some of you don't have in your home so what may be the reason 
we can adjust no uh, that secondary environment no that secondary why you didn't put that no csc ah the those are not things no the major thing is it's costly okay you can't put the like why everyone put the fan and not the ac because it's costly you have to close all your doors there should be no external ventilation okay so all those major things okay other things you can say okay i don't want like uh, there is like i can use the fan fan is more those are the things okay but what is the major thing because those are costly and need lot of maintenance okay you have to put seal to the doors and windows and uh, the current bill will be increased and you have to give 20000 something okay yes uh, the, the, i will tell you rakshita okay so exactly same thing ha huh? i i think i mentioned some ha huh, i will i will write down no chetan no issue okay so exactly same thing the maintaining of the temperature it needs lot of money okay but if you keep it like that it says lot of money right exactly not everybody have the money not every organism have the energy to spend on something on like comfort okay is it a comfort thing okay so having cold bloodness or warm bloodness is initially it's a comfort thing okay in uh, if you take example of the birds birds are normally this one okay cold blooded animals but and some of them also warm blooded okay so the differentiation are there that's why I, i didn't want to mention that also okay so remember so how it happened like that some of those organisms which have very less energy are in the evolution or in the starting phase they left it like that only they never change it okay so dependent upon the environment for the changes okay but some of them have the energy to make a changes in their body temperature for the comfort they made a change and they call it as the one second guys i will i will rub these things okay so you can write down the example right it's in the book no issue in that so amphibia and fishes reptiles right so they are called as the homeotherms or homeothermic or endothermic or warm blooded animals what is the meaning of this warm blooded animals means they can maintain their body temperature they can maintain their body temperature this is like was things okay so we will learn these things again and again uh, like uh, it will come almost like three times within your 11th and 12th yes so how can you maintain this one when temperature is very low then what you guys will do you will start to shiver and our digestive system uh, starts to work more and all your fats are start to burn to make more energy okay what happens when temperature is high then you start to sweat okay our digestive system is uh, slow down okay uh, so all those things happens while doing all those things we need extra money okay we need extra energy in the form of atp okay higher organism but means larger organism have the ability to do that because they have the ability to store the energy or maintain the energy like that okay but a smaller organism do not have that ability okay uh, changing water regularly in warm water using fat okay yeah correct right so that is what happening in here okay so in youtube yes correct correct okay so exactly like that so it's mainly dependent upon the how it happened okay or how in the evolution what happened okay uh, so one second guys yes correct so how it happened that actually mattered there okay so example for the warm blooded animals which examples you can see sir uh, what is that uh humans yes mammals oh that's birds ah ha birds are warm blooded or uh, cold blooded most of them are warm blooded but some of them are actually cold blooded okay few are cold few are cold blooded so example is probably hummingbird okay hummingbird 
so if you saw the video i sent last day probably you may learn about this why it happening like that okay so in there they explained right the body's a uh, surface area of outer body and surface of the inter uh, internal organs or internal body it matters okay when organism is like this okay think something like this okay i meant i actually added a zip about the bird yes <laughs> uh, for this one okay so this is the example for this one look here only warm blooded all of them are warm blooded only very few of them are cold blooded okay so here only warm blooded bird so what happens if an organism is like this then what happens and is something like this much big if it is smaller then outer surface area will be larger and internal surface area will be lesser if like this then outer surface area will be larger internal surface sorry outer surface area will be smaller and internal surface area will be larger so those organism uh which are having this kind of condition normally go for the cold bloodedness so, so it can easily maintain because it do not have the energy to uh, sustain that okay so we will learn that one more time in ecology guys uh, so just think about this so you guys ask some of the question i didn't answer uh i'm not sure which hummingbird is like having so many of species i will let you know okay which species of the hummingbird is act like a cold blooded animal so can we lose our weight if you eat less no uh, that's not the case always okay can we ha uh, don't don't type it too many times okay don't type it too many times because it will uh, i i will lose the actual uh, questions if you type the same question like 10 times other two or three questions asked before you will be left out like that's why uh yes warm blooded means warm blooded animals only okay mm example of warm blooded ha huh, i told you right uh rutvik i have to check on that okay i have to check on that hummingbird if you are saying not i will check on that and i will tell you which kind of hummingbird will be uh, cold blooded or which particular birds okay but normally uh warm blooded sorry okay so birds mammals are the best example for here okay ha huh. in simple way you can say like that okay ah uh, yeah that, that's correct even that's correct mammals uh, humans come to what human if humans come to uh, mammals then they are also warm blooded only right yes i don't know preeti uh, but uh, remember guys everyone add your suffixes add your school name as a suffix that's mandatory okay otherwise while segregating the attendance it will be very hard for us that's this the mandatory so who came late to the classes uh, in the uh, added or joined later in the classes so please do that one okay yes so one sec guys in youtube it's not loading the answers yes correct gopika elswath yes correct answers okay as a mammal blue whale has a warm blood yeah it depends yes uh, we never mentioned that right so mammal is a blue whale yes blue whale is a mammal and uh, it's not the uh, this one uh, what you can say fishes right so we can think like that check guys uh, that's uh, yeah the question will come one sec wait okay so which of the following do not show sexual dimorphism human elephant peacock and cat okay human elephant peacock and cat so try to get the answer i'm launching the poll now okay sometimes i will be amazed okay why i am is like amazed like whatever we are discussing today all we are discussed in the 9th uh, class only so still some of you not understand anything spike like, like this are basics right so that's why yes yes i'm waiting for others to answer yeah who knows oh options are easy yeah sorry i didn't check that one one sec 
Yes, in YouTube, I'm waiting for your answers. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm ending the poll now and I'm sharing the results. Okay. So 6% children option A, 14% children option B, 21% children option C, and 59% children option D. I'm stop sharing the results. Okay. Uh, no, Suhas. Yeah, I told you. So uh, uh, now we can go for the answers. Okay. So humans, everyone know, I gave the example, dimorphism. Okay. Okay. You know that this is not the answer. And peacock, you know, it's a dimorphism example. I only told you. So this is not the answer. Okay. We left with a two. Elephant, we have an option. Okay. Yeah. We have one is an African elephant. Another one is the, uh, this one, Indian elephant. Okay. Uh, same, same thing. Don't, don't repeat the question. I can see the question guys, please. Okay. So if you repeat the question, like, uh, huh, I mean, huh, in African, I told you, right. African, what happens? Tusk will be there. So you can differentiate, right. Tusk will be there. You can differentiate Indian tusk will not be there. It's little differentiate. So we have a partial niche, right. So cat, you can't differentiate anywhere, right? This is partial. This is correct. Sorry, this is, you know that, sorry, this is not like this. So which one you will choose? Which one you will choose? Please, I will, I will complete this and I will come back to the questions, right? So wait, which one you will choose? Which is the most suitable, right? Which is the most suitable? That is the cat. So try to think about like this. Okay. Never stick to only one thing. Never stick to only one thing, guys. Remember, okay. You have to choose the most correct answer. Okay. Despite hair, what is the dimorphism humans have? Okay. Uh, hair is never a character. Okay. Hair, uh, which is having on our head is not a character. Body hairs. Okay. We have it on facial hairs. And the second character is how the length or breadth of the, our chest region and, uh, the breadth of the pelvic region. Okay. And having thickness or the girth of the uh, muscles, okay, girth of the muscles, okay, all those things are the characters, okay, dimorphism characters of male to the female, okay. Yes, ha, huh, voice in the higher, higher things, uh, voice also, okay. Ha, huh, correct, Pawan, actually, uh, in African females also having lesser tusk, but tusk only, okay. Uh, please, please, okay, don't, don't, uh, type it one time i will see it okay so if the tusk of male elephant is cut then its progeny will not be affected yes manvita it will not be affected okay so that never happens okay it never happens then why tuskless elephants are rare to be seen uh, tuskless elephants are rare to be I didn't understand. Tuskless elephants, uh, you can see, right? You can see females are tuskless only. If you watch normally on the Dasara, then you will have some problems. Uh, sorry, uh, then you are facing that problem because what happens in Dasara festivals, most of those elephants are actually male. Even females also there, you can check, okay. Uh, tuskless females also there, but males have the more strength to bear that, okay, more strength. So. Uh, normally you saw the male elephants, I think. Okay. Uh, tusk is made up of the hardened tissues or kind of bone tissues only. Okay. Calcium only. Uh, in children's, we can't differentiate. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't differentiate in children's. So we can't, we can't say. So it's like adult only we will norm normally consider. Tusks are rare to be seen. Having tusk because uh, no, it's not rare to see. Uh, you can re uh, regularly see, but uh, in some of the area, poaching will be happening and they will cut down. Okay, in those things only you can't see. Other than that, you can see the tusk having elephants also. Yeah, if you cut the tusk, the elephant will die of the bleeding. Okay, if you cut up to the end, it will die. Not in the front. Okay, now, if you cut in the front, nothing will happen. Uh, but you can't survive in the uh, wild because those tusks are made for the fighting. Okay. Made for the fighting. It can't fight. So it can't fight with the other elephants. So it may die. Okay. But if you cut to the root, it's like a teeth only. Okay. Enamel. You know that, right? Those calcium and enamel things. So those kind of thing only. It's extended tooth only. Okay. So if you cut up to that, the nerves will be infected and it will die. Okay. Why tusk is valuable? This is the hardest and one of the, what you can say, 
important you can say the value of those things are majorly dependent upon how you treat it okay uh, so if you won't treat it like that it will never have the value because of our treatment a uh, little uh, li uh, difficult but the males will be comparatively large okay taught us to sexual ha huh. yeah uh early class ah that will we will cover manvita i also mentioned that one no issue uh no 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 not like that okay uh, remember no 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 guys chat box is never lagging okay the issue is uh, we have a system like first come first served basis okay so the first question uh, asked will be answered in the first phase so later the second question later the third question like that okay so that's why some of your question take one or two times and others also taking that much time only okay so and while i'm explaining i'm not going for the questions later we can solve that right that's why so next one is a fertilization process so how the fertilization happens it may be external fertilization external fertilization means what where you can find it fertilization external fertilization no not in hands okay external fertilization means fertilization happens outside of the body fertilization happens outside the body happens outside of body okay outside of body so what happens this uh, frog frog and example i I'll, i'll write on the example okay frog so you can think about other things also what fishes okay fish okay there what happens ha huh. outside of the body by releasing gametes to the environment okay so fertilization means what fertilization we already discussed fusion of male and female gametes so this female frog will release the egg into the water and male frog will release the sperm onto the sex then the sperm will reach or fertilizes egg and make it as a zygote okay so the fertilization process happening where in the media or in the water medium so you can call it as the external fertilization yes fusion okay fusion or syngamy or whatever word no issue okay what is internal fertilization 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 happening inside the body happens inside the body inside the body okay what are the examples then the examples will be one sec uh one sec guys yes the example will be uh snakes or you can take reptiles and later apes or birds mammals okay in all of them okay in these external fertilization ha huh, correct sir yes right so reptiles apes mammals all those things should be internal fertilization so what happens here the gametes are fused inside the body so regularly what happens the male genital organ or penis will be uh, penetrated into the female genital organ and gametes or sperm will be released there those sperms will travel and reach the egg and fertilize inside only later on those uh, fertilized zygote okay fertilized zygote may be remain inside or maybe comes out okay that is secondary we are not uh, talking about those things we are only talking about the fertilization where it happens okay our parents can detect it is ancestor where it releases the gamete here in frog can detect it is my ancestor there is nothing like ancestor nothing okay children there is nothing ancestor or anything okay uh hen how it happens what do you guys think about hen what do you guys think about hen is it a internal or external ha huh, mammals i wrote the mammals right means all the mammals it may be a kangaroo or it may be a tiger or it may be a human yes birds i told you right uh, when you talk about uh, any bird i wrote it here only aves that means internal fertilization only okay not external yeah, once you are once it is lay, uh, laying the eggs that means it's already having the one sec it's already having the fertilization process it's done with the fertilization process okay so remember these things external and internal fertilization later we will come across with one more doubt so method of uh, giving birth okay method of giving birth 
so fertilization is done what happens next so it how to the growth growth should happen and it have to give birth okay ah uh, no ah uh, the samit correct so right so three methods are there one is oviferous oviferous means what oviferous means they are egg laying right egg laying so these organisms are lay the eggs example you can go for the reptiles not all not all okay so i can write the regular examples only so i can write birds and tortoise or turtle okay so all those things are oviparous correct yes ah oh, oh, clock are, all those things are different okay from where it's coming that's different yeah and ha huh, these are called oviparous okay oviparous means they are egg laying okay what are viviparous then viviparous means giving birth to young ones okay giving birth to young ones young ones means they are giving birth to the similar kind of the things without having any eggs okay i, I can take a example of elephant mammals okay mammals here only you can see elephant okay it's actually uh, giving birth this is the phase of birth okay yes ah uh, what about platypus what about platypus platypus also called ornithorhynchus platypus also called as ornithorhynchus scientifically we will see that later okay what about platypus this is oviparous or viviparous ha huh, echidna echidna is also is it oviparous or viviparous egg laying right that is egg laying correct correct uh, i will tell you jeevan once we complete i will tell you okay uh, just remember me okay if you if i forgot yeah viviparous means giving birth to the young ones then ovo viviparous means what ovo viviparous means what they give birth to oh yeah yes correct macaca means monkey only yes give birth to young ones young ones uh developed within pouch developed within pouch okay within pouch that means what happens just check here it is present inside the stomach only okay uh we discussed that in the first class session yeah so no 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 not kangaroo not kangaroo don't think about kangaroo okay not that pouch within pouch inside stomach inside a uh, stomach or i can say inside the abdomen okay inside the abdomen not kangaroo don't think like that that pouch and this pouch is different okay so what is happening here these are giving birth to the young ones these are giving birth to the young ones only but before that before then uh, development process is happening all those process happen in a, a egg like thing like a pouch like thing that's what we call it as a egg like thing only happen all those egg like things will be present inside the body only inside the body only example shark and some snake like viper snake okay viper snake i will show the viper snake photo okay remember what happens in viviparous a placenta will be developed right but in oviviparous it do not have any placenta i remember okay uh yes this is a african one this is the african one so yes uh takes place in, in lower fluke and periphera kingdom uh nayana this are not uh, comes to the here because they are actually external only external only okay no when it comes out the pouch will not be there okay pouch will not be there okay so uh this are like pouch which is present inside their body and those development is happening there without having placenta when they are giving birth a new ones only comes out new progeny will comes out okay without the outer shell is it uh, exactly like uh, instead of laying eggs on the outside keeping those eggs inside okay keeping the eggs inside only okay so these are the major two things when you ask about lower organism okay when you are uh, asking about lower organism we can't say like that okay if you ask about porifera or cilentrata all those things so these are if you think it's kind of external only but there is do not have any significance right it do not have any significance so we don't mention all those things okay uh, so these are the major things and this is the viper okay razal viper okay you can check about that also okay 
I'm launching the poll. You can answer in the poll. Uh, sorry, you can uh, take the teacher NPS. We will solve some doubts regarding the anything else regarding this one. Okay. Sir, how placenta will be cut in wild? No, it won't be cut down, uh, Pawan. It will be uh, what you can thrown out from the body also. In our humans also, we will cut the umbilical cord. A uh, placenta will be different. Okay, the placenta will be eje ejected after the uh, parturition or the giving birth. Okay. After some time of giving birth, the placenta will be ejected from the body. <laughs> shark, shark, sorry. Shark, okay, not sheep, shark. Also in cows. Yes, also in cows. All the mammals. All the mammals have placenta, right? So all of them show like not. Most of the mammals have the placenta. Like, what's the difference between viviparous and ovo viviparous? Viviparous have the placenta and it is directly giving birth to young ones. But oviferous do not have the placenta. They have a pouch within that the uh, embryo will be developing or uh, fetus will be developing. Okay, so that's the different. Here they do not have the uh, pouch but have the placenta. But here they have the pouch. Okay, inside the body. Okay, sir, viviparous can be oviferous, but oviferous no. Uh, Yes, no, 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 Akshay, you can't say like that. Uh, we completely differentiated this. You can't mix viviparous and oviparous. So these are completely different things. Okay. Uh, third picture is uterus of which uh, it's not a uterus. It's actually developmental uh, stage of the shark. You can see the shark here. I will, I will make an outline. Okay. What about snake? Only vipers, not all the others. Okay. I will make an outline. You can see the shark here. Yes. So it is developing inside this one. So this is the shark. Here is the gill splits. If you observe keenly and uh, all the things. Okay. Here also another thing is there. In snakes, only vipers have the oviferous. Other snakes will be this only. Okay. Uh, if you take example, Naja Naja, that means Nagraha, right? Those are belongs to the oviferous or egg laying only. Very few of them are oviviferous. Okay. So, difference between tortoise and turtle. Yes, I will come to this. Uh, guys, uh, the, when there are like a lot of questions are coming, some may be, some questions may be, uh, I didn't saw. Okay. So, just check with that. Uh, dinosaurs belongs to the reptiles. O, o, sorry. Uh, oviferous. Okay. Those are reptiles. Dinosaurs are reptiles only. Okay. So difference between tortoise and turtle. Okay, turtle. Okay. Reproduction in kangaroo. Uh, in starting, what happens in kangaroo also, it will develop regularly, but later on those embryo, developing embryo will be ejected out and that uh, embryo or you can say fetus, okay, which is comes out of the body will be kept in the pouch, will be present in the pouch where it will develop until it will grow up to certain time uh, by feeding on the mother's milk. Okay, by feeding on the mother's milk. Oviferous, they give birth to complete young ones. Correct, Pawan. Yes. So, tortoise will be present on the land and turtle will be present on the aquatic system. Okay, aquatic system. Tortoise will have the, uh, what you can say, mm, Claws, okay. It will have a claws, yes, like this, okay. It will have a claws with the sharp na nails, okay. Turtle will have what? Turtle will have the uh, what I can say for that particular one. <laughs> not tail, not tail. Yes, they have the legs with yes. Um, webbed feet. Correct. Correct. Okay. I, I'm, I'm thinking about that only. Thank you, Paul. Okay. These are the webbed feet. Okay. These can swim. Okay. These can swim. Uh, tortoise are not a good swimmer. Not a good swimmer. So what's the meaning of that? So if you find any tortoise, if you don't know that it's a tortoise, if you throw that to a lake, most probable chances it will die, not uh, survive. Okay, 
<laughs> I understand. So before you throwing a turtle, sorry, as something to the lake, just make sure that is it a tortoise or a turtle. If it is a turtle, then leave it. Otherwise, keep it on the ground only. Okay. Ah, uh, bye. Bye, bye. Webbed feet means what? Webbed feet means if your feet is like this, okay, then it will have a web-like structure. Web means uh, what you can say. Web-like structure may, means. Uh, a kind of layer in between them to make it move in the water to act as a paddle okay duck feet correct right how the umbilical cord will be cut in the wild no i told you right it will not be cut bro it will not be cut remember umbilical uh, think one sec oh it went one sec one sec i will tell you how it will be not not cut down okay mm, where i selected the black screen yes sir. Think something like this. This is the fetus, right? This is the fetus. Some uh, think that it's a fetus. Okay. So uh, here is the umbilical cord, and here will be placenta. Okay. Here will be placenta attached to that. This is the outer covering. Okay. When this is going out, when it uh, comes out, this child is comes out. In humans, what we will do? We will cut the this cord, right? But in the wild, that not happens. because of the hanging or due to the force this this is the placenta oh it again went sorry the complete placenta will comes out the complete placenta will comes out okay the complete placenta will comes out that screen is lost so i'm not going there in sec okay the complete placenta will comes out nobody will cutting that okay yes any more questions guys any more questions thank you then uh, probably we will meet uh, next week okay trace and stir right yes so probably is the last class for this week so i will give you what you have to do okay uh class of coders non coders yes sir and that will be done this is just a uh, uh, to inform you what are the word meanings word meanings only okay we will go for the divisions everything in detail just later okay is an evolved by the dinosaurs yes mohan all the birds are developed from the reptiles only so you can say like that even mammals also developed from the uh, reptiles only okay which were recently among turtle and tortoise uh, most probably mm, uh, this one turtle i think because Tortoises are reptile and uh, reptiles are developed on the land. Okay, so from the land it is going to the water system means it made a change. That's why. Okay, ha. Keep it like that only, sir. No issue. Bye bye. No, tomorrow I don't have class, right? Ha 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 ha. What term for distinctive male and female? Didn't understand. Male and female only distinctive, right? is there any holiday yes bro we have a holiday we will inform you okay thank you happy diwali for advance chum tum yeah i am talking about biology bro i didn't understand pavan why platypus lay x those actually related to a different kind of organisms okay so we call it as a starting uh, in mammals also it's divided into several types okay first one is egg laying mammals second one is pouched mammals third one is a, a placental mammals okay those are happened in the evolution starting mammals are called as like protonema mammals so those lay the eggs because they developed directly from the reptiles okay so related to that so it's like a connecting link later on some of them changed and made some adjustment and turned into other two kinds okay how many times they will inform you i don't know exactly So in flat worms, even the regenerated brain contain all the old memories. How it is possible? They can make it work. Okay, they can synthesize the now exactly like that. But I am not sure about the uh, the memory means what? Okay, because in our cells the memory will be different. In their memory means will be task. Task will be redistributed in all the neurons most probably. we still don't know a uh, 100% sure about how the brains will work okay in peacock the male and female are distinctive in morphology what's the term to describe that male and female peacock and peahen in uh, uh, in the birds sorry in the uh, this one what you can say 
including that p p bird okay <laughs> probably yeah but in humans it's male and female only there is no separate word right uh, what you can say humans is a common word what is the gastrovascular system okay a vascular system means blood circular system and gastro means our digestive system gastrovascular system is related to that okay so where uh, those vessels and everything contain which related to the digestive system sexual dimorphism which related to what i didn't understand manisha said that word in important terms sexual dimorphism oh you talk you are talking about that uh, from that time i'm thinking you are asking for some word for the humans okay <laughs> sorry sorry i didn't understand the question sexual dimorphism dimorphism means having two different kinds of morphology okay 